But you know the stars he used the uh, dripping tap for torture. Yeah, I can see why. It's driving me crazy. Can you help me fix it? You need a new washer. Oh, it sounds like you know what to do. It'll only take you a few minutes. Ah, look, you can manage, but yeah, turn off the mains first. How? But it's got to be a video on YouTube. Oh, you would if I could, but I'm snowed under here. Yeah, Ray. Sure, I don't have tools or anything. Ray. What? I'm about to get a message from Orla. And? Uh, the Astra. Well, what about it? Our washer's one size fits all. Well, Wayne said it sold to uh, a Mrs. Figgis for two grand. But Orla said it's still for sale. Two and a half grand, and there's a lad called Stuart coming to have a look. So? So which is it? I'll ring Wayne and ask him. I did already. I've got no answer. And Orla doesn't sound too happy, man. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't an emergency. Oh, good. I'll call over at lunch, OK? Aye, ah, you're a star. Thanks a lot. See ya. So, Ray, what do I do? If Wayne says it's sold, it's sold. Yep. Have you refilled the hand sanitizer? Hello? Oh, sorry. I was miles away. I noticed. Marade's back this afternoon, so we have to be up to scratch. What was it again? Make sure the hand sanitizer dispensers are full. You know what? I'll take care of it myself. No, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Just give me a minute. I've been a bit preoccupied. Why would the fairies more like? Let me guess. Heather and Ellie. I keep wondering if them going back to Brazil is what they really want. Heather looks content by the look of her. Hi. How? <laughs> oh. I'm making lunch for Ellie. You've got a spring in your step. Oh, Brendan emailed and he has got Ellie back into her old school with her old friends. She's going to be thrilled. But she has friends here. Ah, it would be good for her to meet up with the old guy again. What kids that she hasn't seen for ages. It's amazing how they can keep in contact these days. I mean, like, she talks to them over the socials. It's like she's the other side of the city. Not the other side of the world. Ah, bye. <laughs> that sounds positive, doesn't it? Oh, please. She's clutching at straws. What's Ellie going to have in common with those kids anymore? She's worried that Ellie will come to her senses and realise that she's better off here. Oh. <clears throat> Did you get Cass's message? He wants to borrow a wrench. Do you know what it's for? He's fixing the old lawnmower. <laughs> Waste of time if you ask me. Uh, do you know what you're looking for? I do. Well, go and help yourself. And grab a can of oil as well. He's going to need it. <laughs> yeah. She's had another earful from Orla. She's some tongue on her when she gets going. Yeah, well, they're never happy these days. Should have gone away in. And if it had done what Arlo wanted, well, then he'd have given you a right rollicking. It's lose-lose. Well, I don't want to be in the middle. I'll fix motors, man, not marriages. I won't fix them. You just keep your head under the bonnet of a car and ignore it all. Yeah, easy for you to say. My ears are still ringing. Yeah, right. Well, I'm off to an early lunch. I won't be long. I'll see you in a bit. You tell Ray I'll drop these back later? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Doug, right? That's me. Alwyn, Cass's cousin. Uh, Ray said I could borrow a can of spray oil. Do you know where it is? Uh, yeah, it's, it's around somewhere. Uh, I don't know where he keeps at. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're grand. I'm just a bit stressed at the moment. Sure, you're very busy. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. I like to walk. It's, uh, it's all the other stuff. Like what? Uh, it's, uh, it's nothing. Now, come here, I think there's a can of WD-40 in the office, so just give us a sec, then. Nothing gets past this fella. <laughs> Get some colour? I mean, we were in Kerry, not New York, but. Go on, tell me all about it. Uh, so, not to tell, really. Uh, mm. Did we miss anything? You're not thinking about this place, are you? Well, I mean, we were, like, we're trying not to. With an interesting report, no? Mm, nothing at all. Mm. Scandal, gossip. I've been living like a monk. But here, what about you two? Tell me everything. We. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it was grand, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. Is that it? 
Yeah, I think so. Nothing interesting happened. No. I suppose no news is good news, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Did you take some photos, at least? Uh, well, I didn't, but you took some photos, didn't you? I thought you did. No, that was your job. Oh, well, mm. that's a shame. <laughs> Go on, you can ask if you want to. <laughs> Have you sorted it all out? Oh, I don't want you to stick my nose in. Yeah, up there, of course you do. You wouldn't have it any other way. Fine. Is everything good between you both? Yeah. And we had the best of times. All right, we, we did lots of talking and swimming and walking and eating. Oh, so much food. Yeah, and I took hundreds of photos, by the way. You've no idea how happy that makes me. <laughs> oh, thanks for caring. So, uh, but when we get settled, we can go for a drink and we can catch up on everything. Lovely. Great. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, yeah see you later, buddy. There's nothing like the carnival in Rio. It's incredible. I was at the Notting Hill Karen for one year and it was fantastic. A little busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about scuba diving? Have you tried it? Would you believe I haven't? You should give it a go. I was brought up to believe the Amazon was full of piranhas. <laughs> That's just stupid. <laughs> Blame the comics I read when I was a young fella. <laughs> I used to think it was going to be the piranhas or quicksand that it do for me. Well, there are crocodiles. That's much better, isn't it? No, they're, they're harmless, really. I mean, I, I have been everywhere, and Brazil is the best of the lot. And I can't wait to be sipping a cocktail and the Coca Cabana and just looking at the sunset. See? You're talking my language. Tell me more. Why don't you come over and see for yourself? I mean, everything is so colorful. I mean, you can stay with us. Is that an invitation? Well, yeah, everyone can visit. I mean, we make room. You'd want to be careful. Just might take you up on that offer. <laughs> <laughs> I might join you. Sounds you good to miss. Oh. Huh. Bye. <laughs> she's really looking forward to getting back. She spent so much time there, she sees it as our real home. Renee seems worried about it all. I had as well able to look after herself. And she'll have Brendan and Ellie looking out for her. I think that's what Renee's worried about. You manage? Yes, thank you. So listen, I bet you never thought you'd see your master off, or not? Uh, huh, won't be trying it again. <laughs> Kept falling off. Oh, it's style, I love. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, sorry, I'll be boring you. I got in. What? I've just been picked for the under-19s hockey squad. Uh, hang on, the under-19s Irish squad? That's huge. I am so thrilled for you. <laughs> but it's just a squad. Uh, you can't play this down, OK? You've been selected to represent your country. I suppose it's not bad. <laughs> Look, but come on. I mean, I'd love to celebrate this properly. Like... Uh, yeah, we should do something. Like what? Uh, I don't know, dinner. We go somewhere uh... local. Doesn't really matter as long as it's us. And, uh, <laughs> we will have to be happy, right? Absolutely. <laughs> hey. Well, that really looks in great form. Funny man must have been a success. Uh, did you hear? Phoebe's been picked for Ireland. Well, it's the squad, it's not the Olympics. Yes. Wow. So all them Saturday mornings driving around the county were worth it, huh? Remember, I said I'd take you for a burger every time you won. Almost bankrupt to me. <laughs> what can I say? I don't like to lose. It's really something else. That's not that surprising. I mean, she's good. She's always the best player on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've watched her play, too. Oh, look at you all over here, living your best lives. You two look happy. Yeah, we are. Thanks. I really admire that. What? Well, I, I wish that I could move on from things as quick as you two have. You're blessed, really. We're stronger than ever. Yeah. Couldn't be happier. Well, when it comes down to it, I suppose it's about forgiving yourself as much as anything, isn't it? Ah, oh, mate, there's nothing to forgive. I was really worried for you after everything that happened. Thanks. But you know, so it's it's this one you should be congratulating. So. Right, we better go home. Um, I'm gonna get everything unpacked before tomorrow morning. Yeah. I'll catch you later, Phil. Sorry. See you. Yeah, they're really putting on a show. I must be exhausted being that happy all the time. Well, it's great that they've moved on. 
especially after the mess they made of everything. Well, easy for you to say. You don't have to live with the couple of the year. Now, if you don't mind, I have some boasting to do. Hey. Yeah, I got in. I know. The bus is in 10 minutes, so we don't have long. You know, darling, I'm almost certain that they have shops in the Southern Hemisphere. Can you blame me for wanting a spoiler a little bit? I don't know when I get the chance to do it again. Oh, I see. So you're not doing this to try and make a stay? No, not at all. No. If that's what they want, I'm not going to stand in their way. I only want them to be happy. We all do. How do you feel? I'm okay. It's no big deal. I'm sorry, but it is a big deal. Would you like something to eat? I'm fine, honestly. We need to get you looked at. Where is she? There. Can everyone just stop freaking out? Did you faint? I guess. I was feeling dizzy, and the next thing I was on the floor. I'm going to get well. We can head over. Can, can you get up? I'll come with you. No, 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 I have things under control. No, I'm not saying that you don't. It's just I want to make sure that she's okay. Sorry, Gran. Maybe we can go shopping another time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I hope you don't mind. I brought you these. Oh, what is it? There's a book on employment law in Ireland, and this one is the selected writings of James Connolly. Oh, lovely. Uh, why? Earlier, I overheard yourself and Ray talk, and all right, I was listening in, but you should not be put in that position by your boss. Ah, look to my me. I was just letting off steam. It is really important that workers know where they stand. If you don't know your rights, the employers will take the mickey. Yeah, but look, I think you might have gotten the wrong idea. It... You need to finish there. Come on, we're in the daylight. Yeah, uh, nearly. Ah, uh, how'd the casket on? Actually, I'm here on behalf of your worker, Doug, to help him fight the good fight. What for you? Don't look at me. Doug should not be in the middle of his boss's problems. Well, it's not a major problem, is it? Yes, this is what I mean. He's telling you how to feel. Yeah, well, I'm not the problem here. This man has rights. Doug? Yeah, well, to be fair, now, Ray did make me join the union. Now, he's mad into rights and all that stuff, so... What's this? I do not mind. The cause of Ireland is the cause of labour. You know you're Connolly. Oh, yeah, I should have a copy of that at home. I read it all the time. Yeah, I've been a uh, Labour man my whole life. Do you know that my ancestors fought on the streets in 1913? My great-grandmother was a suffragette. No, not one of the famous ones. She didn't throw herself in front of a horse or anything dramatic like that. Oh, well, it's the small things that count. That's what I always say. Anyway, I always look after Doug. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, did Wendell... I remember Paul Brennan back in the day, you know, pushing him for a five-minute break on the hour. Oh, Paul Brennan. There's a capitalist if you ever met one. I mean, it was only five minutes for a quick cuppa and a bourbon crin. You know, and then you're good to go. <laughs> Workers are people, not machines. Exactly. Ray. Anyway, I'm off the clock. What about the Astra? Oh, no, that's me. My day is done. I am a free man. So that's that, then? If we stay here any longer, we're on overtime. You know, and I don't want to get into that with her and not in the mood that she's in. But I'd like to hear more about your great-grandma. Buy me a cup of Earl Grey and I'll tell you what I know. Hey, Sarge. Hey, yes. Hey. Um, I just need a quick word with him. Do you want to grab a table and wait for Damien? Yeah. Hey. You uh, laid it on a bit thick earlier. Okay. Sorry about that. How are you? Look, I just overreacted when I saw you all sitting there, all happy and laughing. All your good news. Who wouldn't want that? You had it once. Yeah, OK. So did you come over here to rub it in? Or? No, I'm just letting you know that I'm over your carry-on. There's no point trying to needle me. Why would I bother? It's like when you send flowers to a wedding. Right, so even when I try to be nice, you're giving me a hard time. I don't want you to be nice. I need you to come to terms with me and Damien because that's the way it is now. Oh, yeah, I can see that. 
You know, even Phoebe is getting sick here, showing off. Maybe you should stay out of her way for a while. Yeah, it's a great idea. Because, you know, I'm getting a bit tired of the whole madly and love show myself. Everything okay? Yeah, great. So, where are we heading for our night out? I'll let you pick the venue. I said, let's go for a battered sausage. You'd be happy with that? <laughs> uh, I don't think athletes should really be eating from chipper vans. No, no, I hear that Usain Bolt loves the spice program. <laughs> Just saying. So do we hear a yes? Yeah. Perfect. Where do you really want to go? <laughs> Station bar is fine. Sport and local business, I like it. Listen, two minutes, sorry. Yeah. I want Dad there. Well, I thought we'd keep it just us. Do you not think he's proud of me, too? Of course he is, but he has a lot on right now. Yeah, and a night out will take his mind off it. You keep saying how huge this is. We've all made mistakes, right? Forgive and forget? I can't forget. You seem to have forgotten other things. I don't know why you can't do the same for Dad. It's your night. Are you sure they said she's okay? Mm. She's fine. It wasn't weird or anything. It's hardly run of the mill. I'll take that into her. I'll do it. You stop fussing. She doesn't want any fuss. I wasn't aware I was fussing. You were a bit. Well, excuse me if I'm the only one around here who seems concerned. But well, nothing serious happened. They took her bloods. That sounds like something might be up. Routine, Ren. I should have gone to the medical centre. Might have gotten a straight answer. I don't know why Heather has been so cagey. She seemed very relaxed, didn't she? It was almost as if she wasn't even surprised. We should be grateful it wasn't more serious. Yeah, as far as you and I know. Renee, stop. What? Darling. You're looking for things that aren't there. Thanks for doing that for me. No, oh, you're grand. Didn't fancy a lunch break anyway. What's this now? I had a leaky tap. Ooh, nothing worse. Drip, drip, drip. Drive you mad. <laughs> like having the Stasi in the kitchen. <laughs> I lived at a squat in Camberwell and uh, there was no water or electricity. We had to plumb it up ourselves. I learned a lot. The next time you have a DIY problem, all will can help. Didn't mean to make out I'm some sort of expert. No, all you need is a spanner. Am I lucky you have one? <laughs> <laughs> when did you live in London? I was in England for a few years in the early 80s, uh, half in London and half at Greenham Common. CND? Yeah, fantastic women. Amazing solidarity. We built a, a village out of tents and ideas. Were there any toilets? I used to march the streets myself. Every weekend there seemed to be a demo. Yeah. And the bomb, divorce, abortion. Yeah, different times. Did you march? Uh, no, I stayed away from that kind of stuff. It's not for everyone. I remember what happened in Green and Common. I seen her on the telly. Peelers with their buttons and horses. They weren't right police like you see now. Ordinary bobbies. What was their problem? I mean, we were only trying to save the world, right? <laughs> oh, how is she? Did she eat? She ate a bit. <laughs> I think today was a good day. How can you say that? Is that Ellie's very happy with her school. She collapsed in the hungry pig. Have you forgotten? Oh, but she's fine now. You never told me what they said in the medical centre. I did. No, what exactly? They said that we shouldn't panic. It happens. They didn't mention blood pressure or stress or anything? It, it said a combination of things. Hardly reassuring. But they said that we shouldn't worry. I'm going to go over tomorrow and have a word. Oh, Renee. I'm worried. Who wouldn't be? I am Ellie's mother, and even if you did go over to the centre tomorrow, they wouldn't tell you anything. What's that? 
And he's up he's so nosy. What's this? What's that? All day? It's a pain color. She's in pain. It's for me. I'm very tired and I think I'll go to bed. And safe hands. Do you think she's not telling you something? Stop worrying. She's grand. Grab a paintbrush then. We could do with a few more banners. What about Orla? Never do you mind about Orla. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. We got some news today regarding the trial. It's in a month. Did you will not say? If you think that your mom somehow caused this, it's important that you tell me. <laughs> 